Hello everyone, this is Mr. Informal giving you my review of the Microsoft Surface Ergonomic Keyboard. Now I have been using this for the last three months or so and it is a quite an expensive keyboard. It cost me a hundred dollars. Now this is made by Microsoft obviously, it's made of aluminum, plastic and Alcantara leather. I shouldn't even say leather, it's more like pleather, fake leather. But here it is right here. Uh, I will put the specs on the screen just for those who love to see the specs. You know, for all those geek specs. But this review is more of the usability of this and the comfortness. Obviously, let me just make this clear that Alcantara is very smooth, very nice feeling. When you rest your palms on it, it's really nice. So as you can tell, um, you hear that click, very quiet. It has a good distance to travel. Uh, I wouldn't say it's clicky, just just the right amount of uh, bounce on the keys right here. And obviously the media and also the app buttons are combined together. I wish there was another app button, uh, app rows in there. And then here you have the screen lock and num lock. And the calculator right here, and also um, the key uh, lock keys right here for logins, and so and so. But I'm just gonna let you know right now that in terms of ergonomics, yes, this is a nice ergonomics. It gives a raise. It doesn't have any uh, additional clip here or to raise it up some more. It doesn't have that. It is what it is. It's exactly the way this is supposed to be used. There's no raised or feet underneath. It's just exactly the way it is. Not only that, the way it is con uh, connects is via Bluetooth, not 2.5 gigahertz or USB dongle is by via Bluetooth. Now, if your laptop has a Bluetooth, great. If your PC already has Bluetooth, great. But to those who doesn't, do not have a Bluetooth in their desktop, you need to get a U uh, USB Bluetooth dongle basically or a USB Bluetooth receiver for you to connect and that's how I connected mine. I ended up buying additional Bluetooth receiver for $10 in Amazon. But let's get on with uh, the review for, uh, with the review here. First of all, when it comes to travel, again, it travels really good. When it comes to typing, it's very nice. I love how the keys are connected. So when I'm typing for numbers in Excel, it's just right there. I know those who prefer the uh, divided keys, but I prefer it all in one keyboard. Now, the next thing is I love the separated keyboard. I mean, space bar right here. That's absolutely great. You can use your thumbs right here. And I love that there's enough space in here in the keys spacing wise. That way you're not pressing the wrong keys and the caps lock. Here's the thing that always bothers me about these new generation of keyboard. They do not have any light indicator of caps lock. Usually I prefer my uh, caps lock indicator here, lights indicator, including the screen uh, screen lock and also num lock. I love it here. That way I can just glance up. I'll tell you why they, I don't know why they put the, the in light indicator here because when you're typing, your hands is actually blocking the light indicator the caps lock so you you don't even know if you're typing in caps or not even at all so that's one big negative right here and obviously the big negative right here and another well positive is obviously it looks sleek i love the look of it very contemporary very modern it reminds me of a very smooth curve car or even a smooth curved cell phone that one big example that was that reminded me of this is the HTC One M7. Very smooth in the back, very modern. It still holds to this day, and I do think that in five years or so, this will still hold on its own when it comes to design. 
this is one of the best better designed keyboards out there in the market and i know it's been discontinued by microsoft i mean they're still selling it but it's just not proponent in stores i bought this in best buy now on to the negatives the biggest negative i absolutely hate about this is when it comes to bluetooth and windows so let's say you don't even use this for five minutes or you don't even type anything five minutes this will go to sleep so when you want to type it actually there's a delay in two seconds for two seconds so when you're typing you don't even you don't even realize that you're not typing anything after two seconds then you see what you are typing on the screen and that drove me absolutely crazy and again with the caps lock not only that there's no f keys uh independent f keys row and i wish they had that and also i wish that they had a separated light indicator here for caps lock num lock and screen lock so that would have been amazing that would have absolutely saved a lot of time and over time this alcantara does get dirty a bit so you kind of have to wipe it up because the dirt just doesn't you know fly off you kind of have to brush through it like what I'm doing right now and that's those are basically it for the negatives and I like I'm gonna repeat it repeat this again the negative aspect about this is just the Bluetooth receiver but I don't think that's the keyboard's fault I, I think it's more Microsoft fault with the their Bluetooth drivers in Windows not only that I really don't understand why they made this Bluetooth I thought I wish they would have made this like what Logitech does is the 2. gigahertz uh, USB dongle or even just use a USB adapter they could have also done a two-way communication with this a Bluetooth or a 2.4 gigahertz that way I don't have to worry about the sleep mode in this now I'm not the only one who has a complaint about this check out the Microsoft forums or help uh, boards in Microsoft they're going through the same thing with this keyboard and so after three months I decided to replace this and I ended up replacing it with a Deso keyboard a wireless ergonomic keyboard I love ergonomics for obviously prevent carpet tunnel syndrome and one last look I love this keyboard I love the look of it but that Bluetooth delay just drove me nuts hopefully you enjoyed this review i know i was very critical but i ended up spending my own money with this and so this is mr fomo uh, with the review of the microsoft surface ergonomic keyboard i will see you in the next review Bye bye